One of the most common Linux support questions that comes up in Linux forums is how can you detect duplicate files in your file system and then remove them? There are a bunch of different programs that can do this for you. Some of them are safer than others. One of the best programs out there, in my opinion, for removing duplicate files on your system is FSLint. FSLint is free and open source software and it is in pretty much everybody's repositories. So let me pull up a virtual machine here today. This is Pop OS. So this is a virtual machine I'm going to do this in. And if you don't already have FSLint installed on your system, what you need to do is install it. Let me zoom in here so we can see exactly what I'm doing. So on a Debian or an Ubuntu based system, what you need to do is sudo apt install fslint. Give it your sudo password. It's not a terribly big package. It should just take a second to install. Once you have fslint installed on your system, you just need to launch it. So go through uh, your menu system, whatever desktop environment or window manager you're using, uh, just do a quick search for fslint. And there it is on my system. And it is a standard graphical application, your basic GUI application. By default, you have various things that it can search the file system for, but the most common one most people would use this program for is duplicates and that is what it has selected by default but it can also search for bad file names name clashes temp files bad sim links empty directories non-stripped binaries and redundant white space so it, it can do a lot of things there's actually a lot of stuff to this program i will say that the documentation on how to use this program is lacking sort of but, you know, for just finding and removing duplicate files, it is pretty straightforward. So by default, it has selected the home directory here. And let me just show you this. So I'm going to go ahead and run this command. And since this is a fresh virtual machine and I don't have much on it, it was a quick scan and it didn't find too many duplicate files. It found a few, but they are cached files, it looks like for the most part. Now it looks like I have a duplicate in the .config slash pulse audio folders here. Now if I wanted to, I could just select the ones I want to delete here. You know, if I wanted to, I could just select whatever ones I don't want on the system and click delete. And they would, of course, be deleted from the system. Or if I wanted to, you could actually merge the files. So if, if, if instead of delete, I clicked merge here. Are you sure you want to merge all files, ignoring the ones I selected? So it's going to merge all the duplicate files into one file. But any files that you had highlighted, it ignores those. So if I just run that and then let's run the scan again, you see now I only have these two duplicate files. And the reason it didn't merge those is because I had one of them highlighted. But if I wanted to, I could just click delete and get rid of one of them. And then I run it and I have no more duplicates. It's pretty straightforward. FSLint, it is great for finding duplicate multimedia files, especially. A lot of times you, know, you, you save a ton of MP3 audio files or MP4 video files. Sometimes you end up with multiple copies of the same file, and that can really take up a lot of hard drive space, especially video. Also, images. I, I know many of you guys have thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of pictures, you know, family photos and stuff on your drive. And a lot of times you have duplicates. And how do you find those duplicates? Well, you use a tool like FSLint to clean all of that stuff up. Now, if you wanted to check out some of the more advanced stuff, uh, let, let's go ahead and do the bad sim link. Let's see if it can find any bad sim links. It only returned the one. Uh, this is a VM, so it's not dangerous for me to, you know, delete stuff. So I could select delete here and go ahead and delete that bad sim link. Now on a physical machine, I wouldn't just willy nilly just start deleting sim links or deleting duplicate files unless you really know what those duplicate files are. Now, when I ran the scan of the duplicates earlier, most of it was in the dot cache folder. So it's pretty safe to delete that stuff because they're, they're not real files. They're not system files. 
you wanted to, you could scan for empty directories, and it found actually quite a few empty directories on the system. Many of them are also in dot .cache. Some of them are in dot .config. And if you wanted to, you could just delete all of the empty directories here on the system. Some of them, though, are kind of important. Like you have your documents folder, your downloads folder, music, you know, because this is a fresh install. That's why those folders are empty. But I probably wouldn't want to delete those because I would just end up probably having to create them anyway. So again, I, I wouldn't just delete everything. You know, you want to actually check the list after the scan before you just click that delete button. You can search for non-stripped binaries. I don't know if it'll find any on this system. It doesn't look like it did. Non-stripped binaries do take up extra space on your system. Typically, you want all your binaries to be stripped. And there is the redundant white space scan here. I'm not sure if this will return anything. It actually found some stuff here. And of course, I could delete it, like the bash history. Some exorg logs are also in here, and a readme file is in here. It would probably be safe to delete all of that stuff from the system. But overall, the file sizes for that, uh, nothing is, is too large. That stuff is really not taking up too much of the drive. So anyway, just a very quick video. I just wanted to show you guys this easy to use graphical interface duplicate file finder, FSLint. It's been around for years. I, I've known about FSLint since first coming to Linux. Uh, it's a very old program. Again, it's free and open source soft. I think it is in everybody's repositories. You should have no problem finding it. And it's a pretty easy to use tool. And if you use it correctly, it is a pretty safe tool because it doesn't actually automatically delete files. There are some duplicate finder programs out there that scan your system for duplicates and then try to automatically delete them. That's dangerous. I would never use a tool like that. FSLint actually returns you a list of files and you actually have to go through and select the ones that you want to delete. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. This show was produced by Michael, Mitchell, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplow, Nate, Lambda, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, the show wouldn't be possible. I also want to thank all of these ladies and gentlemen. Each and every one of these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are my patrons. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. I want to thank each and every one of those ladies and gentlemen. And if you would like to support this channel, Consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.